The National Air and Space Museum archives holds historical materials that chronicle the history of aviation and space flight, all the way from early ballooning to the modern space program, Space Shuttle and Beyond. Material that can range from letters and correspondence, technical manuals, we have three million photographs, materials on microfilm, records from corporations that are long gone, and also people who are still very much with us, like modern astronauts. Some of my favorite collections that we have are our diaries and scrapbooks. They really give you insight into somebody's life. This is a diary that we call the Yamada Diary. It is actually in Japanese. Unfortunately, we know very little about the Yamada who gave the name the Yamada Diary. So this is a photograph of, we believe his name is Yamada Hiroshi. And now that we've gotten inside the diary, you'll see what is so beautiful about this is in addition to pasting in photography, Yamada was an artist. And so he captured a lot of what he experienced through art. What he chose to commemorate, just even in the drawing, says something about him and what he was trying to communicate about his life. You can see that here, we actually do have a quick translation that one of our Japanese speaking volunteers made of this particular picture, which is Manchurian Girl on the Train to Harbin. This is one of my all-time favorite collections in the archives. It's called the Ruth Law Scrapbook. Ruth Law was actually one of the first American women to earn her pilot's license. She learned how to fly herself and earned her license in November 1912. One of the first things that Ruth Law did upon earning her license was determine that she was going to help other women fly. What she did, she actually sold passenger rides. So what you'll see on this page is a certificate of flight with Ruth Law. In 2020, we celebrated the 100th anniversary of the ratification of the 19th Amendment, which gave women the right to vote. And in this scrapbook, on this particular page, you'll see that Ruth has pasted a Votes for Women rosette. These were worn by suffragists who were women working towards the vote. But underneath this ribbon is what is known as an editorial cartoon, a drawing of Ruth Law up in the clouds. We know it's her because her little suitcase says Miss Law, and she's up there saying, whoopee, votes for women. So this is definitely showing that Ruth Law was a part of the suffrage movement. How do you like to communicate? Text, phone call, email, or do you write letters on actual paper? Let us know in the comments section. And if you like this video, be sure to follow STEM in 30 on Facebook and Twitter and subscribe to the National Air and Space Museum's YouTube channel.